Hello guys, if you are watching my video for the first time, my name is Diego Damuna. In today's tutorial, we are going to see how you can use a rounded button. Maybe according to the need of your project, you need a rounded button. How do you go for that? Well, today I'm going to explain to you. I'm going, we are going to see how it works. Uh, for example, I've got a project here. It's about a webcam. Let me try to launch this project here. So this project it, it is about webcam if i click on stream button you can see that here i'm able to stream you know i can uh, capture a picture i can decide to uh to save that picture into my my phone into my computer let's say it's day day let me just call this picture like this and then boom picture saved successfully so the software is working perfectly but now here's the problem uh, as we know that uh, when it comes to capturing pictures or uh, getting videos, the button that we use that is not a kind of a squared or rectangle button. It's a, it, it a rounded button. But unfortunately, in C Sharp, you can't find that button. So that is why I decided to make this video and to show you uh, what you can do in order to get the rounded button. All right? So just going to quickly close this picture this uh, software here and then we're going to download a, a rounded button which is pre-made already and i'm gonna put the link in the description so that if you want you can just click on that link and then you will be able to download the button that we'll be using for uh, our project okay so let me go on uh, opening the link this is the link i'm talking about i'm just going to uh double click on this link it's open you know how to open a link so this is basically the code that will get our button uh, rounded forms so you don't need to type all this code the only thing you need to do is to download this file all right so i'm going to come here i click on download so it is already downloaded let me go to my download folder I'm going to open this PC of my computer and then I come to download here. So the package or the file that uh, we just downloaded is this one. It's name button underscore was dot cs. Okay. So I'm just going to copy it as it is. Let me try to copy it. Sorry, it's taking a bit of time here. All right. So I'm going to copy it and then I will relaunch my um uh, my software and then i need to to copy i mean i've already copied i need to paste this file that we just uh, uh, downloaded or this package that we just downloaded i need to paste it into my project so what i'm going to do i must click on solution explorer then i come to solution here here it is sorry i have to come here to my project then i right click and then i go to paste so as you can see the package that we just downloaded has been pasted here all right so but for it to start working it's not gonna wait right away i have to do something here what i'm going to do here let me get back to solution explorer so i must click on my solution here then i right click i come to rebuild solution this is good because it's going to put everything in place for the package that we just downloaded to work properly okay and then the next thing to do i have to make a space here for me to put my round button let me try to accommodate space for that uh, button here i think this should be fine then i'll go to toolbox let me look for button can you see button iphone w o c appears here so that means that uh, the rebuilding was successful so what i can what, I, what i'm going to do like any other tool I'm just going to click and then drag and drop and drop it here so this is how the button looks like but uh, i don't want it to be this form i just have to resize it so it can get the round form uh, i think this should be fine let me try to expand it like this so i can be there we go can you see now 
So we managed to get a, uh, to get a round button. So I think this should be fine because I wanted my uh, button when it comes to streaming or to recording to be uh, rounded instead of being rectangle as it was before. All right. So let me try to change the name of this button here, the text, uh, because uh, since it is about recording, I'll say uh, actually stream. Uh, let me do this. Uh, sorry. All right. So stream on and off. Okay. Okay. Oh, so it's a bit too small. Let me try to resize it. Uh, all right. I think yeah, it should be fine. Let me try to do this. There we go. It's perfect now. Now I need to change the uh, name of this button. Okay, I'll call it, uh, how should I call it? Let me just call it button streaming. Okay, button streaming, this is how I want it to be called. Then I'm gonna double click on it. All right, so let me now try to put the code that was in this button here. Okay, so I'm just going to copy as it is. All right. And then I double click on the my on this button. But now I have to change a few things here. So let me now give this name to this button here. Okay. I think this is how I want it to be. Copy paste. All right. Okay. Now I'm going to save my my change, the change that I just made. So let me try to launch my software. All right. So we can see how this button is behaving. If when it's like this, it's red. If you just hover over it, and then it changes the color from being from red to yellow. So let me try to click on this button. We can see guys, you know, I'm now able to stream. You know, I can now, I can now stream. And once I click on it, the, 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 the color of the, the text that is on it even changes. So maybe you don't, me, I don't prefer this yellow color. So I'll change the color of this, of this button instead of being yellow after whenever I, I, I hover over it. I want it to be something different. Uh, let it maybe be, I would say, mm, let me give it control dark. Okay. So let me start. There we go. So if I over, if I, I hover over it, it changes the color, I can click to start streaming and then you can see this working properly. So you can just play, play around and do whatever you want to this button for you to be able to use it because the importance here is, is to have the round, the rounded button as you want it. So guys, this is how we can easily manage to get around the rounded button. If you need this link, I'm going to put below the description that link, the one that can help you to download the round button and you're just going to import it and then insert it into your project, then you can use it like any other button. Please, if this video was important to you, I will ask you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and like my video. And don't forget to turn your notification bell on so that next time if I publish a video, you're going to be alerted and maybe that video will be what you have been looking for. Keep well, guys. In the meantime, bye. See you in the next video.